Technical Trades Training to Army is critical to enabling land capability through training our young technicians with nationally accredited vocational training that provides the base trade that we can further grow on over their careers through lifelong learning to ensure that they can sustain land capability. We're seeking improvements across the entire technical training continuum. During initial employment training, this includes contemporary content delivered to nationally accredited standards, improved flexibility to meet neighbours emerging requirements and to adjust to any changes in industry standards. I'm going to walk away with great qualifications. I've got awesome experience, awesome skills that I'm building on and those skills are going to continue to grow. I don't think it's something that I'm going to get an end to. My stepdad was in the New Zealand Army and I was really inspired by all the stories that he told us when I was younger. I was always interested in becoming a vehicle mechanic. When I found out that you could become a vehicle mechanic in the Army, I was blown away. My father served and I have other family members serving. My next posting is in WA on the FFHs. I'm excited to get back because family's there and I'm really excited to get to see. I joined the Army because I wanted a different lifestyle to what civilian apprentices are offered. When I'm a qualified electrician, I'm hoping that I get to do some deployments overseas. I'm hoping to achieve the ability to work on military specific equipment that would not be available to civilian tradesmen. The career and lifestyle opportunities Defence presents, as well as the world class training they offer, really appealed to me as a technical minded person myself. When I left high school, I wanted a stable job where I could travel, and the Navy gave me that. I've always liked fixing things and doing hands-on jobs, so I thought marine technician electrical trade would be the best one for me. I definitely want to be able to do a rim pack in my time in the Navy. I like the team aspect of it, so you're sort of like working with your mates and you're training with your mates, you're doing PT with your mates and sort of like being like a footy team. I just wanted to do something different that no one was doing in my area and I could always fall back on a technical trade. I can move anywhere, go anywhere and still be able to apply my skills. The welding is my absolute favourite thing to do. I've started doing it since 16 years old and just fell in love with it. I've learnt a lot of things that I reckon are going to very much help me in my career. While serving, I'm hoping to do a lot of travelling, see a lot of the world and work on what I'm good at in a very team-focused environment. I felt that technical skills were always going to be relevant uh, wherever life ends up leading me. It gives me an Australia-wide recognised trade. I'll be posted to a unit, hopefully infantry or light cavalry. I'm hoping to be able to climb the ranks and commission as an officer and potentially take command of a ship. I plan on staying in the Navy. If that plan does change later on down the track, I'll have that trade qualification. Navy Technical Trade Training provides suitably qualified and experienced personnel to repair, maintain and operate our capabilities and systems, both at sea and ashore. This prepares our individuals and teams for the fight. This contract will allow soldiers and sailors to conduct military-specific technical courses at the point of need, close to capabilities and at their home locations.